Welcome to part two of the Runa C2C Blanket Tutorial. And we're gonna continue work on our lower rectangle for the pattern. And we're gonna make six of these and join them together. Now the written pattern has two different rectangles. You can make a lower rectangle and an upper rectangle. But for this tutorial, I'm just gonna show you how to make the lower rectangle because I noticed after I um, have made this blanket before and used it a few times that <clears throat> you don't really need two different <laughs> rectangles. It's, you know, the only difference is that upper rectangle adds one more row at the top of those two squares. And so the blanket's perfectly symmetrical. But um, So we're gonna finish our lower rectangle square. This is what it looks like. And if you haven't seen the part one tutorial, Go ahead and check that out. We did the first eight rows, and now we're gonna pick up um, on row nine, and let's get started. Okay, here's what our uh, piece looks like after row eight. Got eight blocks along the diagonal, eight blocks this way and eight blocks that way, counting each one of these as a block. So that's how you can count your rows in C2C. And we still have all of our balls of yarn lined up in the tray. I did just untangle them. <laughs> so when I put this away, I kind of just threw it in the basket. So everything's nice and neat to start for row nine. <clears throat> and row nine starts with two blocks of our contrast color six, this orange color. So we'll start with a chain six. Pinch that third chain double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook, which is the one you pinched. Let's give ourselves a little slack with these. And then double crochet into the next two chains. And we'll slip stitch to the next block and work one more block in our contrast color six, this orange color. So chain three and then three double crochets into that same chain space. And then we'll slip stitch to the next block and change colors and work one block in this teal color. This is contrast color four. So slip stitch, give the old yarn a tug to tighten that up. Chain three and three double crochets. Okay, we'll slip stitch to the next block and change colors. And we'll work one block in our contrast color three. We'll slip stitch to the next block and change colors to our contrast color one. And we're gonna work two uh, blocks in this color. So chain three and three double crochet. Working over that carried yarn. And then work another block, same color. We're not going to be using the ivory in this row or your main color, just drop that to the back. And we'll slip stitch to the next block and switch to our contrast color two, this dark black or navy color. Give the old yarn a tug, chain three and three double crochet. Now slip stitch to the next block and one more block in our contrast color two.
A little ball popped out of my tray here. <laughs> okay, and then we will change colors and work one block, our last block of row nine here, in contrast color five. Okay, so that's row nine. And when we turn our work, we're gonna alternate which way we turned it. So if you already <laughs> have a way going for, um, you know, what you did for row eight, just do the opposite. I can't remember which way I turned last, so I'm just gonna turn the left side of the work over to the right. And our carried yarns, I mean, our yarns here are gonna cross a little bit, but that's okay. When we finish that row, we're gonna turn it back the other way and the yarns will uncross again. So let's start row 10. We're gonna work two blocks in this contrast color five. So the first block will chain six. Double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook and the next two chains. Slip stitch to the next block. And then work another block in the same color. So we'll chain three and work three double crochets into the same chain space. Now we'll slip stitch the next block and work one block in our contrast color two. Chain three, three double crochet. Now we'll slip stitch the next block and change colors to our main color. So we're gonna carry this main color over two blocks. Yarn over with it, pull it through, give the old color a tug. And then we're gonna chain three and work three double crochets in the chain space, working around that carried yarn. Okay, now we're gonna slip stitch to the next block. We'll pick up our contrast color one and work one block in contrast color one. And then we'll slip stitch to the next block and change colors to contrast color three and work one block in contrast color three. Okay, now we'll change colors as we slip stitch to the next block. And we'll work two blocks in our contrast color four. Slip stitch and work one more block in that same color, two total. Oh, what is going on? <laughs> okay, now we'll slip stitch to the next block and work one block in our contrast color six, orange, or this peachy color here. And now for our last block of row 10, we're gonna slip stitch the next block and add a new color, which is our contrast color seven. So, <clears throat> Put that one right next to the 
in your tray, we're gonna add it to the tray over here, right next to the color that it's right next to, and leave a long tail, and we'll slip stitch with this contrast color seven to join those two blocks together. And now we'll create a block here at the top, chain three and three double crochets. Okay, that was row 10. And now to get our yarns to untwist, since we flipped our work like that last time, this time we're gonna flip our work like this. Turn the left side over to the right, and your yarn should pretty much straighten back out here. <laughs> Actually, I think I added the, the yellow on the wrong side of the tree here. Let me just fix that one. Okay, there we go. Now our yarns are straightened out. For some reason, my yellow got a little, little hooked up there. Okay, oh, and now I lost the stitch. <laughs> one more. Okay, let's start row 11 here. And row 11 starts with two blocks in our contrast color seven. So we'll chain six. Double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook and the next two chains. Slip stitch to the next block, and chain three, three double crochets into that same chain space. Now we'll slip stitch the next block and change colors to our contrast color six. And work one block in contrast color six. Now we'll slip stitch to the next block and change colors and work one block in contrast color five, uh, contrast color four. Now slip stitch to the next block and change colors and work two blocks in our contrast color three. Now we'll change colors again, work one block in contrast color one. We'll slip stitch to the next block and change colors while we do it and work one block in our main color. And we'll slip stitch to the next block, work one block in contrast color two. And we'll slip stitch to the next block, work one block in our contrast color five. And for our last block of row 11, we're gonna change colors. So we are going to add contrast color eight. So add that to your tray right next to contrast color five. And leave a long tail. We'll slip stitch with contrast color eight. Tighten that old color. 
chain three and three double crochets into that same space around the yarn tail as well. Okay, so there's our row 11 complete. And we'll turn our work from the left side to the right and get ready to start row 12. Row 12 starts with one block in our contrast color eight. So we'll chain six, double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook, double crochet into the next two chains, and we'll slip stitch to the next block and change colors as we do. And we're going to pull over our contrast color five. Slip stitch with that to join those blocks. Tighten the, the old yarn in the back. And now we're going to one, work one block in our contrast color five. And we're going to chain three. And work three double crochets into that chain space and work around that carried yarn as well. And I'm going to slip stitch the next block and pick up our contrast color two, carry that across to where we need it. Slip stitch with it, chain three, and work three double crochets into that same space. And we're going to work two blocks in this contrast color two. So slip stitch the next block, chain three, three double crochets. Okay, we're gonna skip the ivory in this row, so we're just gonna drop that to the back, our main color yarn. And we're gonna work two blocks in this contrast color one. So let's pull the contrast color one over and slip stitch with it to join those blocks. Chain three and three double crochets, working over that carried yarn. And we're going to work another block in this contrast color one, two total. Then we'll slip stitch over to the next block and we're going to switch colors to our contrast color three. So we're going to pull that up to where we need it. Slip stitch with it. Tighten the old color back here. Chain three and three double crochets. Okay, we're going to slip stitch to the next block and change colors. So we're going to pull our contrast color four over here and slip stitch with it. Give that a little tug to tighten. And we're going to work uh, chain three and three double crochets working over that carried yarn. Okay, we're going to slip stitch to the next block and change colors and work two blocks in our contrast color six. So when we work the first block, we're going to work around that, uh, work over that carried yarn there. I'm going to slip stitch to the next block. One more. Okay, we'll slip stitch to the next block and change colors to contrast color seven here. So we're pulling contrast color seven up to where we need it. Slip stitching with it. 
and chain three and three double crochets. Okay, now for our last block of row 12, we're gonna change colors. So we're gonna put our hook into that chain space and grab a ball of main color and add that to your tray right next to contrast color seven. And leave a long tail and slip stitch with main color to join those two blocks. Give the old color a tug. And we'll chain three and work three double crochets into that same chain space around that carried yarn as well. Okay, now there's row 12 complete. And we can turn our work and start row 13. So let's see, I forget which way I was supposed to turn my yarn. Sometimes you gotta... <laughs> figure it out by like picking it up and seeing where it's going but it's hard to tell because my white scrap is really short now this little ivory scrap and it's kind of making a tangle so let's see I think I gotta do it this way <laughs> sometimes um, it's hard to keep up the discipline on that alternating the directions um, that you're turning your work Especially if you like forget what you had for dinner last night like I do <laughs> But it's okay. It's okay All right, so let's start row 13 And row 13 begins with two blocks in our main color So for the first one of those we're gonna chain six Double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook in the next two chains Slip stitch to the next block, chain three and three double crochets. Okay, now we're gonna slip stitch to the next block and change colors back to contrast color seven. And we'll work one block in contrast color seven. Chain three and three double crochets. Now we will slip stitch to the next block and we're going to change colors to contrast color six here. So pull it up to where you need it. Slip stitch with it. Give the old color a tug. Chain three and three double crochets. Now we're going to slip stitch over to the next block and change colors to this contrast color four. Chain three and work three double crochets around that carried yarn too. And we're going to work two blocks in this contrast color four. So slip stitch to the next block. Three double crochet, three chain three and three double crochets. Now we'll slip stitch to the next block and change colors, and we're gonna pick up our contrast color three. So yarn over with contrast color three, slip stitch, pull the old yarn tight, and work one block here. Okay, we'll connect the blocks and change colors to contrast color one. Now we'll slip stitch to the next block and change colors to main color. So we have to pull that across two blocks here.
chain three, three double crochets around that carried yarn. Now we'll slip stitch the next block using contrast color two. Chain three and three double crochets. Slip stitch to the next block using contrast color five. And we're gonna work two blocks in contrast color five. So slip stitch to the next stitch, chain three, three double crochets. And then our last block, we will work in contrast color eight. So we pull that up to where we need it, slip stitch over with it, tug the old yarn, chain three and three double crochets. Okay, there we have row 13 finished. And we'll turn our work and start row 14. For row 14, we're gonna work two blocks in our contrast color eight. So for the first one of those, we chain six. Double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. Double crochet into the next two chains. Slip stitch to the next block. And another one, chain three, three double crochets. Now we're gonna slip stitch to the next block and pick up our contrast color five. Chain three and three double crochets. I'm gonna slip stitch to the next block and pick up contrast color two. Slip stitch with that to join the blocks. Chain three and work three double crochets into that chain space around the carried yarn two. Okay. We'll slip stitch the next stitch and pick up our main color. Chain three and three double crochets. Oops, now you see I've ran out of yarn on this little ball. So I'm gonna leave this tail here to weave in and add a new ball of our main color here. And you don't have to leave a super long tail on this one, just kind of whatever tail you normally use. But yarn over with that to, to add that new ball of yarn. And then we're going to slip stitch to the next stitch and pick up our contrast color one. So yarn over with contrast color one to join those two blocks. Give the old color a tug. Chain three, three double crochets. And we'll slip to stitch to the next block with contrast color three, and we'll work two blocks in contrast color three. Slip stitch to the next one, chain three, 
three double crochets. Slip stitch to the next block and we'll pick up contrast color four. Chain three and three double crochet. Now we'll slip stitch to the next block and pick up our contrast color six. Slip stitch over with that. And chain three and three double crochets around that carried yarn. Slip stitch the next block and work two blocks in contrast color seven. And for our last two blocks of row 14, we're going to use main color. So slip stitch with that main color to join those two blocks. And we'll work two blocks in our main color yarn. Okay, there's our row 14 finished and we can turn our work and start row 15. And you know if you look like if, if it looks like it's tangled and you wound it wrong, you know you turned it the wrong way you can always <laughs> feel free to turn it turn it a little more here. So row 15 is going to start with a block of contrast color 7 so we have to add a new ball of that. So we'll add the contrast color seven to our tray and leave a long tail. And we're gonna add our contrast color seven just by slip stitching with it. Tighten that old color. Okay, and we'll chain six. Double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. Double crochet into the next two chains. Now we'll slip stitch to the next block and we're gonna uh, slip stitch with our main color here. Pick up our main color. So slip stitch with the main color to join those two blocks. Give the old color a little tighten back there and we'll work two blocks in main color yarn. Okay, now we'll slip stitch to the next block using our contrast color seven. Give that main color yarn a tug and we'll work one block in contrast color seven. Slip stitch over to the next block using contrast color six. So pull contrast color six over to where we need it. Tighten the old yarn. Chain three and work three double crochets over that carried yarn. And 
And we're working two blocks in contrast color six here. So slip stitch over and work one more block. going to slip stitch with contrast color four and work one block of contrast color four now we'll slip stitch over with contrast color three and work one block of contrast color three Now I'll we'll slip stitch over with contrast color one and work two blocks in contrast color one. Working around that carried yarn for the first block here. Slip stitch and work a second block in contrast color one. Now we're not going to be using the ivory or main color here in this round, so you can just drop that to the back. These tails will weave in later. And we're going to slip stitch over with contrast color two. And work two blocks with contrast color two. So chain three, three double crochets working over that carried yarn. And then slip stitch to the next block and work one more. Sometimes the balls of yarn just pop out of your, your box or your tray or whatever you're using, but just toss them back. Now we'll slip stitch over with our contrast color five. Take the old color, chain three, three double crochet. Okay, now we'll slip stitch to the next block using contrast color eight. And we'll work one block with contrast color eight. And for our last block of row 15, we're going to add a new color, and that is contrast color six. So grab your contrast color six. Add it to the tray right next to contrast color eight. Leave a long tail and yarn over with contrast color six to make that last block for row 15. And crochet around that tail as you work those three double crochets into the chain space. Okay, that's row 15 complete. And we can turn our work and start row 16. Row 16 starts with one block in contrast color six. So we're gonna chain six, double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook and the next two chains. Now we'll slip stitch over with contrast color eight and work one block in contrast color eight. And 
Now we'll slip stitch over using contrast color five and we're gonna work two blocks in contrast color five. Make sure to work over that carried yarn and slip stitch over and work a second block in this contrast color five. We'll slip stitch over with contrast color two, so pull it up to where you need it. Join those two blocks, chain three and three double crochets. Now we'll slip stitch over with our main color here. So we have to pull the main color over two blocks. So we'll chain three and work three double crochets around that carried yarn. Now we'll slip stitch over with contrast color one. And we'll work one block in contrast color one. And we'll slip stitch over using contrast color three. And work one block in contrast color three. Okay, now we'll slip stitch over using contrast color four and work two blocks in contrast color four. And for this first block, we will chain three and work three double crochet around that carried yarn. And we're gonna work two blocks in this contrast color four. Okay, now we'll slip stitch over using contrast color six and work one block in contrast color six. Now we'll slip stitch over with contrast color seven and work one block in contrast color seven. Now we will slip stitch over using our main color and work one block in main color yarn, working around that carried yarn. And we'll slip stitch over with contrast color seven and this is kind of a, a weird little carry because we're going to carry the yarn down this little stair here over to where we need it. So give yourself enough slack here to carry this yarn so that the yarn can be pulled like along this little zigzag here without getting too, too tight. So chain three, work three double crochets around this carried yarn. And then we're gonna slip stitch to the next stitch. And as we do, we're gonna kind of 
carry this yarn up so that the carried yarn here that we carried over this little block is going to get hidden. So we're going to slip stitch to the next block and we're going to work two more blocks in our contrast color 7 to finish row 16. Let's see. So crocheting around that carried yarn. And we're going to slip stitch to the next block and create our third and final contrast color 7 block to finish the row. Now that is row 16 complete and we are done with this little main color section. We created our little shape here. So now we can cut contrast, uh, the main color here, this little main color here and pull that out of our tray. So find the end of that main color yarn, leave yourself a tail to weave in later. And you wanna follow this back and see which ball of yarn on your tray is moving when you pull it and pull that out. I think it's important to get rid of the balls of yarn you're not using just so that if you do get a tangle, it's not going to be like too extreme, <laughs> too many, uh, too many tangles in there. So we're going to turn our work back the other way and start row 17. Row 17 starts with a new color. We're going to add a contrast color six ball of yarn here. So grab contrast color six, add it to your tray, leave a long tail and yarn over with that contrast color six, tighten up the old color in the back and we're going to chain six, double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook, double crochet into the next two chains, Okay, and we'll drop that contrast color six and we're gonna yarn over with contrast color seven and we're gonna work five blocks in contrast color seven. So chain three, three double crochets. So for our last block here, you'll see that you're going to meet up with your other little ball of contrast color 7 yarn. And we'll be able to cut that one off here in a second. So this little bit of contrast color 7 yarn, we don't need this anymore because in row 18, if we have to do more um, yellow balls, we'll just use this ball of yarn. So you can cut this contrast color 7, leave yourself a tail to weave in, pull that one out of your tray, one less ball of yarn to tangle. <laughs> so we've got these five yellow blocks and we are going to yarn over with contrast color 6 to connect to the next one. And we're going to work one block in contrast color six. We'll slip stitch to the next block using contrast color four.
chain three and three double crochets. Now we'll slip stitch over with contrast color three and work two blocks in contrast color three. So slip stitch to the next block and work that second block. Now we'll slip stitch over with contrast color two, pull it up to where we need it, and work one block in contrast color two. Work one block in main color, so pull it up and slip stitch with it. Chain three and three double crochet. Now we'll slip stitch with contrast color two, pull it up to where you need it. And work one block in contrast color two. Now we'll slip stitch with contrast color five and work one block in contrast color five. Now we'll slip stitch over in contrast color eight. So pull that over to where you need it. And we're gonna work two blocks in contrast color eight. And when you work your three double crochets, be sure to go around that carried yarn. Slip stitch to the next block. Chain three, three double crochets. And we'll pick up our Contrast color six to slip stitch over and create our final block in contrast color six. All right, there's row 17 complete. Getting there. <laughs> and we can turn our work and start row 18. Okay, we'll start row 18 with two blocks in our contrast color six. So chain six, double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook in the next two chains. And slip stitch to the next block and work one more block in this color. Chain three and three double crochet. And we'll slip stitch to the next block with our contrast color eight. So we'll pull it up to where you need it. Slip stitch over, tighten that old color, chain three and three double crochet. Now we'll pick up our contrast color five and carry it over to where we need it. And we'll work one block in contrast color five. So chain three, three double crochets working around that carried yarn. You 
Okay, then we'll slip stitch over with our contrast color two, and we're gonna work two blocks in contrast color two. So carry it over where you need it to join those two blocks, and we'll chain three and work three double crochets around that carried yarn. Slip stitch to the next block. Create one more block here in contrast color two. And we'll slip stitch to the next block. We're gonna pull the uh, main color to the back since we're not using that. And we're gonna work two blocks in our contrast color one. So pull it over to where you need it. Slip stitch those two blocks together. Chain three, three double crochet stitches, working around that carried yarn. Slip stitch to the next block and work one more block in this color. Okay, now we'll pick our contrast color three up here, pull it up to where we need it and slip stitch over with that. And we'll create one contrast color three block. Now we'll drop that color and pick up contrast color four and we'll slip stitch over with that. Chain three and three double crochets around that carried yarn. And now we'll drop that one, pick up contrast color six, pull it over to where we need it and slip stitch there. And we'll work two blocks. Chain three, three double crochet around that carried yarn. And the second block. Now we'll drop that color and pick up contrast color seven. So pull it up to where we need it. Slip stitch those two blocks together, three blocks in contrast color seven. And now our last three blocks are going to be in contrast color six. So we need to pull the contrast color six over to where we need it. So we're gonna pull it over this little zigzag. So give yourself enough slack when you slip stitch over with this color here so that this carried yarn isn't gonna to be too tight and it can, it can go along this little stair step here. So we'll chain three. We'll work three double crochets around that carried yarn. And when we slip stitch this next block here, we're gonna make sure that we catch that carried yarn as we slip stitch. And then we're gonna chain three and work three double crochets around that carried yarn. Slip stitch to the next block and create that final block at the end of the row. OK, 
Okay, there's our row 18 finished. It's getting bigger. And now we'll turn our work and start row 19. And for row 19, we're gonna add a new color to begin, and that is contrast color four. Okay, we're gonna add that contrast color four. Leave a long tail, and we'll just yarn over with that contrast color four, pull it through, tighten the old yarn here. And now we'll chain six. Double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook and the next two chains across. Okay, now we'll drop that color and we're gonna pick up our contrast color six. And we'll pull that up to where we need it and yarn over to connect those two blocks. Now we're gonna work four blocks in our contrast color six. Now, as we're working this fourth block, we're gonna need this yellow color again soon, our contrast color seven. So pull that up and we're not changing colors to it yet. We still have one more block of contrast color six to make here, but carry that yarn up with you so that you can use it in the next block. So crochet over that contrast color seven to create your fourth contrast color six block here in row 19. Okay, so we've got four contrast color six blocks. And now we're gonna drop contrast color six and we're gonna pick up that contrast color seven that we carried just for that last block. Yarn over with that to join those two blocks. Tighten the old color. And now we're gonna work two blocks in contrast color seven. Okay, now we can drop contrast color seven, pick up this ball of contrast color six, carry it to where we need it there, yarn over with it to slip stitch those blocks together and create a block here. We're gonna drop that color and pick up contrast color four. So carry that over here, slip stitch those two blocks together. And we're gonna work two blocks in contrast color four. And now we drop that color, pick up contrast color three, pull it up to where we need it, yarn over and slip stitch the blocks together, and we'll create one block here. Now drop that color, pick up contrast color two, yarn over to slip stitch, and create a block here. Actually, um, yep. Now we're gonna pull our ivory yarn over and whenever we pull the ivory yarn, our main color here, you have to carry it across two blocks. 
So pull the main color over, chain three, and work three double crochets working around that carried yarn. Okay, now we'll drop the main color and pick up contrast color two, and yarn over with that, and create one contrast color two block. And then we're going to drop that yarn, pick up contrast color five. Yarn over with that to slip stitch those two blocks together. And we'll work two blocks in contrast color five. Okay, now we'll drop that and we'll pick up contrast color eight, yarn over with that to connect the blocks and create one block in contrast color eight. Now we'll drop that and pick up contrast color six here. Yarn over with contrast color six, and we'll create one block here. And for our last block in row 19, we're gonna add a new color, and we need a new ball of contrast color seven. So grab your little ball, add that to the tray, Leave a long tail and slip stitch with that color. Tighten the old one, chain three, and work three double crochets working around that carried yarn so that the yarn tail is at the edge of our blanket. Okay, that is it for row 19, finished here, and we can turn our work and start row 20. So in row 20, we're gonna start with one block in this contrast color, seven color. So chain six, double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook, and the next two chains. Okay, now we'll slip stitch to the next block using contrast color six. Pull it over to where you need it. Tighten the old color, chain three and three double crochets. Uh, we'll drop that color and pick up our contrast color eight. Slip stitch over with that and create two blocks in contrast color eight. There's the first one. And we'll slip stitch to the next one and create a second one. We'll drop contrast color eight, pick up contrast color five, carry it up to where we need it, and create one block here. Now we'll drop that, pick up contrast color two, create one block with that. Now 
Now I'll drop that and we'll pick up our ivory, main color yarn here. Carry that over to where you need it. Chain three and three double crochet. Now we drop that and pick up our contrast color one. Create one block here. Okay, now we'll drop that and we'll pick up our contrast color three. Slip stitch with that to connect the blocks. And we're going to create two blocks here in our contrast color three. Now we drop contrast color three, pick up contrast color four, carry it up to where we need it. And create one block here. Now we'll drop that and pick up contrast color six and create one block. Now we'll drop that, pick up contrast color seven and create one block. Now we're gonna create four blocks in contrast color six here. So we need to carry the contrast color six down to where we need it. And it's one of those times where we're going to carry the yarn over this little stair step here. So yarn over and pull it through. And then make sure you have enough slack in your carried yarn here to be able to crochet over it. It's not going to be pulling things too tightly, but it's not going to be leaving a big loop sticking out anywhere. So there's our first block. And we'll slip stitch over and make sure you kind of line that carried yarn up so that it's going to be hidden as we slip stitch to the next block. And crochet around the carried yarn so that's two blocks. We're going to create a total of four contrast color six blocks here. That was three. Okay, there is our fourth contrast color seven block. And we are done with this. Uh, or, I mean, that was our fourth contrast color six block here. And we are done with this contrast color seven here. This yellow here and i am going to cut that yarn we're not going to need this anymore we're done with this whole yellow shape so leave yourself a tail to weave in and figure out which ball in your tray that tail belonged to and get that out of there and you can add that back in whenever you need yellow again or contrast color seven again but we're done with it for now so we created our four blocks in contrast color six now we're going to switch to contrast color four and we're going to carry contrast color four down the stair step over here and slip stitch with that and our last three blocks of row 20 
will be in this contrast color four. So make sure you got enough slack here. You can pull yourself out a little bit more if you need to. Chain three and work three double crochets around that carried yarn. And then when we slip stitch to this next block, just make sure we're lining up the, the carried yarn so that it's getting caught in there, anchored down a little bit. Okay, and our last block of the row is also going to be in contrast color four here. And there we have row 20 coming along. <laughs> Let's turn our work and start row 21. Row 21 starts with a block in our contrast color three yarn. So grab a ball of that, add it to your tray. Leave a long tail and yarn over with that <clears throat> and just pull it through to start with this yarn here. Now we're going to chain six. Double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook and the next two chains. Okay, we've got our first block there <clears throat> and we're going to drop our contrast color three and pick up our contrast color four, yarn over with that to join those two blocks and we're going to work four blocks in contrast four, color four. So there's our first one. There's our second one. Here's our third block and we still have one more to go, but we're going to need this contrast color six yarn next. So let's carry it up and carry it along with us as we create this last block. And we're going to crochet over this as we create our last block in contrast color four. And now we'll drop contrast color four and we will pick up our contrast color six, yarn over with that, and we are going to work five blocks in our contrast color six. So we have our first four blocks in contrast color six, and now we're going to work our fifth one. And this is where our two balls of contrast color six are meeting, and we don't need both of them anymore. So we can leave ourselves a tail and cut off this other one and pull that ball of yarn out of your tray and make our last contrast color six block here. All 
we're going to drop contrast color six, pick up contrast color four, and create one block. And we're going to drop that color and pick up our contrast color three and create a block. Now we'll drop that, pick up contrast color one and create two blocks. Now we don't need our main color in this row, so you can just pull that to the back. And we're gonna drop contrast color one, pick up contrast color two, and create two blocks. Now we'll drop contrast color two, pick up contrast color five and create one block. Now we'll drop that and pick up contrast color eight, create one block. Now we'll drop that and pick up our contrast color six and create two blocks. And our last block for this row will be contrast color seven. So grab that, slip stitch over with it, and create that final block. Okay, there's our row 21 complete. It's coming along. And now we can turn our work and start row 22. Row 22 starts with two blocks in our contrast color seven. So chain six, double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. Double crochet in the next two chains. And create a second block. Now we'll drop that color and pick up contrast color six to create a block here. Now we'll drop that and pick up contrast color eight, create a block here. And 
Now we'll drop that and pick up contrast color five and create two blocks. And we'll drop that and pick up contrast color two and create one block. Now we'll drop that and pick up our main color and we have to carry the main color across two blocks here. So chain three, and when you work your three double crochet, make sure you're working around that carried yarn. Okay, now we'll drop that and we'll pick up our contrast color one. Work one block. And then we drop that, pick up contrast color three, and create a block. And we drop that, pick up our contrast color four, and create two blocks. When the balls get really little like this, they tend to pop out of the basket and start trying to cause a little trouble, but don't you let them. You put them back in your box or your basket. Okay, now we drop that color and we'll pick up our contrast color six and create three blocks. Okay, well now we'll drop that color and we're gonna carry our contrast color four down the little stair step here and yarn over with that to join those two blocks. And make sure you've got enough slack here to carry, carry the yarn and not have it be pulled too tight here or have a, a little loose end hanging out. And we're going to create four blocks in this contrast color four color. And whenever we slip stitch over here, we're going to get our hook under that yarn to make sure that it's getting anchored there. And crochet around this yarn as you create your second block. Okay, here's our fourth and final block in this color. OK, 
Okay, now we'll drop that color and we'll pick up our contrast color three. And we're gonna work our last three blocks of the, of the row in this color, so we have to carry it down the stair step. Yarn over, check your slack, make sure you've got just the right amount of yarn carried there. Chain three and three double crochets around that carried yarn. And when you slip stitch to the next block, just make sure you're catching that carried yarn too. Chain three, three double crochet. Slip stitch over and create that last block for row 22. Okay, there's row 22 complete. Getting bigger and bigger. And now I gotta figure out which way to turn. <laughs> and we can start row 23. Okay, for row 23, we are going to add a little ball of a new color. And that is contrast color one. So grab your contrast color one, add it to the tray there, leave a long tail, and yarn over with this new yarn to create the first block of the row. So chain six, double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook in the next two chains. And then we're going to drop that yarn color and pick up our contrast color three. So carry that up to where we need it here. And yarn over with that to connect the blocks. And now we're going to create four blocks in our contrast color three. So after we create our third block, we're going to carry this contrast color four yarn up as we create the fourth block in contrast color three. So crochet around that contrast color four as you're creating your last block in contrast color three. So we have four blocks in contrast color three. Now we're going to work four blocks in contrast color four. So carry that up to where you need it and work four blocks in contrast color four. And as we create our fourth block in contrast color four, we're gonna carry this contrast color six yarn up, bring it along with us, and crochet over that as you create your fourth and final block in contrast color four. And now we drop the contrast color four, pick up contrast color six, and we're gonna work two blocks. And I'll 
I'll drop that. I'll pick up this ball of contrast color four and create one block. Okay, then we'll drop that and we'll pick up our contrast color three and we'll create two blocks. We drop that, pick up contrast color one and create one block. Now we'll drop that, we'll pick up our main color, pull the main color up to where we need it, slip stitch over with that, create one block. Now we drop that, we'll pick up our contrast color two, pull that up to where we need it and create one block. Now we drop that, pick up our contrast color five, yarn over with that and we'll create one block. Now we'll drop that, pick up contrast color eight, and we'll create two blocks. Now we drop that and pick up contrast color six and create one block. Now we drop that, pick up contrast color seven, create one block. And for our final block of row 23, we're gonna add a new color, and that is another ball of main color. So grab your small ball of main color yarn, add that to the tray, leave a long tail, yarn over with that new color to connect those blocks. And we'll chain three and work three double crochets working around that yarn tail. All right, there we have row 23 complete. We're getting close to our corner, a couple more rows here. So let's turn our work and start on row 24.